to sum things up until now, we saw that a meta document is composed of characters, which have character attributes like font, size, color, and so on. Those characters combine into paragraphs, which have attributes like alignment, indent, line spacing, etc. The paragraphs combine into sections, which have attributes like number of columns, background color of columns, and so on. And the sections combine into page ranges, which have attributes like header, footer, orientation, margins, and so on. So now, so this is the structure of Melal document. And now let's see how this relates to the style system. But before we do that, we have to understand what a style is. In Melal, a style is simply an object that contains attributes and has a name. I'll show you what I mean. Let's close this document. So I'll create a new document, I'll make it bigger, choose fit width, okay. So now let's say I have a, a document which has two types of text. First is headings and running text. So let's type something, heading one. Now let's paste some running text, create another heading just typing text that will serve as the headings, I'll paste another section and so on. Third section is enough. So now I have three sort of sections with headings. Now, normally, of course, I, I would like to use a, a different font for the heading and the running text. So how do I do it? Usually, I'll select the heading, for example, and choose a different font, let's say Helvetica. So Helvetica and size 18. And this is Helvetica 18. Now I'll choose the running text and let's say use Palatino for that. Let's say size 13. So this is the normal way to apply attributes on the text. Now, when as I continue, I have to do it again and again. Adding two again, I have to choose Helvetica, and then 18, and so on. Of course, this is very tedious, and as the uh, attributes pile up, I have more chance of making mistakes. So this is not really a, a good and efficient way to do things. So let's undo all this and see how we can do this using styles. And what we do with styles is very simple. First, we create a style. So we select the text, we apply the settings. I'll choose Helvetica, 18. I can make any other settings I like, the color, etc. And then I go to the character menu and choose create new character style. Now I have a dialog that allows me to give this style a name. Let's call it my heading. I, I can also see the other attributes of the style, so I can review that. I'll click Create. Once I did that, if I go to the character menu, I will see my new style added here, my heading. Now I can use this when I go over the text. I'll select the next heading and choose Character, My Heading. That's it. It will be Helvetica 18. Next heading, character, my heading, so on. Let's repeat the same process for the running text. So I'll select the running text. And I'll apply and I'll choose the font and the size. So it's Palatino 13. Now I go to the character menu, create new character style. Let's call it my running text and click create. And now I can use this style. 
I select some text that I want to apply this style on character and I have it here my running text again heading 3 character my running text so the style gives me a way to uh, recall the settings in one click I can make the settings once and then reuse them again and again the style gives me another thing let's say that I want to change the way the headings look I don't want to use Helvetica I want to use Helvetica bold normally what I would do is go to the first heading select it choose bold and then scroll to the next heading select it bold and so on but using styles we have a better way to do this what I can do is this assuming that we have styles applied on the text I can take this style select some text that uses this style my heading and I'll choose edit my heading in the character menu and now I can make a change for example take the face and instead of regular use bold you can also see here um, preview click save and this heading changed but if I scroll to the next heading it's it's changed too and so on same for running text I'll choose this running text let's make it smaller I choose this is using my running text as you can see here I'll choose edit my running text choose 12 point text it's a bit smaller save and there you are the style has been changed so the styles really help me to make the document very consistent within itself and I can basically make this setting once and then just reuse it using the style now the styles have another advantage they are global they are not local they are not just for this document if I create now another document I'll choose file new for example and click in the character menu I will see that I have those styles that I created before in the menu and I can use them here I'll choose my heading for example and type my new heading now I'll go to the running text style and type and it uses the same font the same sizes the same settings in both documents so if I have many documents that need to look consistent uh, among them this is a very good way and easy way to to do this and you can basically develop a workflow where you just create your styles once and then forever use just use them and reuse them and you never have to actually make settings like choose a font size and so on okay so now it's time to see how everything fits together we seen the, as we seen before a metal document is made of characters that combine into paragraphs that combine into sections and so on and each of these elements have attributes Char characters have attributes paragraphs have attributes sections have attributes and as we said before styles are st a style is something that stores attributes and what this means is that in Melel and this is quite unique to Melel each type of attribute each type of of element has its own type of style so we have character styles which are accessible through the character menu so I can choose text and apply various character styles we have paragraph styles which apply paragraph attributes we also have section styles which apply section attributes let's say a two columns section with a line or three columns and so on 
And we also have page styles, which apply page settings. Now, in, by default, we have only two page styles, but we can add as many as we like. So we can basically make our own system of styles that suits our needs and never make the, those settings manually. We can always use styles and uh, for all our documents and for every element of those documents. And this is something which is quite unique to Merel. That's it. I hope you, you enjoyed this video and uh, found it useful. I'll see you next time. Until then, bye bye.